We're gonna reveal the cab over Ford semi truck that we just got done building. I'm trying to pace myself, but I can't. It's finally done. And you guys are gonna lose your damn minds. I'm gonna lose my damn mind because it looks unreal. There's a moment that everybody here has been waiting for. I'm gonna reveal it to you. It's right there. this up a year and a half ago and it's just been sitting waiting. The thing about it is we keep bringing in all these other projects and this is not like a money making project for us. This is a Dave Sparks hobby project. Yes, we'll use it, we'll put it to work, but it's more of like a showpiece. So we're kind of taking our time on it and we've just been so slammed. Now we finally have an opening, pulling it in here, getting it going. So that's the front grill assembly. And then Iram's gotta come in. Obviously putting the bearded skull here, some lighting. He's gonna make sure that's all dialed in. And we send it off the powder coat booth, get it powder coated. And then uh, Doug and I, we're just gonna go cruising for chicks with it. Ain't that right, Doug? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. My wrong. wife watches these, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good move. My wife doesn't watch it yet. Oh, hey, have you heard of Auto Tempest? Well, if you haven't, you have now. And here's the thing we needed a new vehicle to mess around with at the shop. This is the, uh, the front skull that's gonna be going on the grill of the truck. So we'll have this, and then just back behind this will be our acrylic piece. We're welding on little bolts on the back side. So when we slip the epoxy on and then uh, put it through holes in the grill, we can you know bolt it and basically have it sandwich that epoxy in there. the most unassuming vehicle and instantly we had over like a hundred listings of the exact vehicle I was looking for listings from cars.com eBay true car Garvana who's awesome you want to be really quiet around this this guy the face of Iram just shows you what the hell is Caleb doing here Iram hey That's the rite of passage. Now I can enter the shop. <laughs> <laughs> this skull was just painted and it's being paired with a really cool thing that Iron was putting together and now Rob is working on. They call him Handsome okay. Rob. Oh, Handsome Rob, like Handsome Dan? Handsome Dan. Is that a new thing? Who's Handsome Dan? Handsome Rob. Wait, what's Handsome Dan from? Handsome Dan, he's from uh, uh, Italian job. Wait, I thought it was Handsome Rob. It is Handsome Rob. It's Handsome Rob. I thought hands an Italian job? Handsome Rob is definitely an Italian job. Handsome Rob is an Italian job? Yeah. It's not Handsome Dan. Nope. 
Are you pulling my leg? How's this going, Rob? It's going pretty good. All I got to do is just hollow out this middle section and then we are done. Oh, now it's all, yeah, now it's That's all it. easy. Yeah. You're routing out the eyeballs right now? Yes, sir. I just have to do that and I'm done. How many lights are actually going in this? Just the eyeballs or? That's all I was told is the eyes. We'll let, me do, let me do Let me do the middle and then yeah. you can do the test fit. Let's see how it looks. Let's do it, handsome Rob. It's uh, pretty fresh, yeah. All right, well. Maybe we shouldn't touch it anymore. Iram, we're gonna need to paint it again. Iram, come look what I made. <laughs> of course. <laughs> come look at what I helped Rob make. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, I didn't know this was that fresh. Listen, Amigo saw me pick it up and everything. He didn't even tell me. I just. Look at how it looks. It looks great now. <laughs> All right. I wish we didn't bring Iron over and tell, show him my mistakes. Yeah, you wore you wore the one. Uh, I know. That's why I'm saying I wish we didn't bring you over. Hurt my feelings. Thanks, Caleb. Hey, it looks wonderful, dude. You did a great job. I need to paint it again. I need to get out of here quick. <laughs> that rite of passage you gave me is being revoked. So we went and got it. Brought it back to the shop to give it the good old Sparks Motors christening. <laughs> Seriously, if you need a vehicle, do what we did and go to autotempest.com. Let's go, Caleb! Let's go, Dees. We're good. Well, with all these wires, yeah, it's a lot more than what I was. We have too much opening space. You know, you can definitely see everything behind, uh, even though it's all, everything's blacked out. But obviously, we want to try to hide all the wires. It looks a lot cleaner. And now I'm gonna reroute all these wires, making little tunnels and stuff. That way, you can route wire and hide it. So my plan is to kind of do something like this all behind. like that is what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna add more of this cover on. Make sure it's all secured. So this goes down. Mine is the left side, this will be the right. that one movie? Uh, Death Race. You ready? Yeah. 
That's so awesome. Yeah, but I honk at people. <laughs> we can do it. If that, then we can make it flash. Or if it's off, we can do it as a scene light too. And we've got that out, outer light illuminated as well. So I'm actually programming our system. So your your basic run in the middle lights, like the ones that are on your car, uh -huh. they're all just hooked up to a, a circuit or a relay or something. So when you flip a switch, turn your headlights on, it yeah. just powers it directly. Well, running it through our core system, we can turn it on normally, or because now we're in control of it, we can flash it, we can low power, we can do different patterns with it. Um, yeah. And because we're now tied into the brake lights, your turn signals, reverse, we can use all of these warning lights or running lights to now affect you know, safety, give them more illumination. I mean, it's a giant truck, you need lots of light. step closer to these fenders being finished. Everything from the very, very beginning has been absolutely custom. If you go back a long time ago when we were just showing Hiram trying to match these up, it's been a long time coming, a lot of custom work in this, and it doesn't stop yet. We are in our brand new lining booth with uh, our new sponsor, Armadillo Liner. And what we've done, we have vinyl placed on the original powder coat to cover that original powder, powder coat. We just spent a full day going through and putting wire tape all the way around here. Then after that, you can't just bend line onto an absolutely smooth surface, you gotta rough it up. So we took a sander and you can see this is pretty rough. Getting down to the actual metal in there, we didn't take off all the powder coat, but we have a lot of surface area that it's going to adhere to and stay on. We are going to go through, do a smooth finish right now. Then after we do that smooth finish from here to the other end, we're going to go and sprinkle through the rough. And then once we have the rough cured on there, which should be within a few minutes, it's hard enough, we're gonna come back and we're going to rip that wire carefully and rip through that bed liner. Now, this stuff, this stuff is almost bulletproof and it's really, really hard. It also depends on how thick you get that layer on there. But with what we're doing, we believe we're going to be able to rip through that, cut it, and then we're going to have this awesome Sparks Motors stick out. And so you'll have smooth Sparks Motors with rough Armadillo line fender, which honestly, if this works, it's going to be absolutely insane.
now we're just prepping all this because while Pedro and um, Rob are attaching all that, we're just getting it all shined up because we want to reveal it to Heavy D here in a second and see what his thoughts are. This is going to be a big moment. This is years in the making. So, big moment, guys. Solo poniendo un... Un... Got a mating. Pretty good, huh? Oh. The best worker. Thank you. Finally. Milo? Más o menos. Milo, si tenemos... This guy right here is literally a work of art, at least for me anyways. We used it for one trip to haul some hay up to Montana, and then uh, it's been in the shop ever since. And we went all out on this thing. Totally custom front grille, Wayland lights all over the place, custom bumper, new tires, new American uh, Racing ATX series wheels, fresh paint, new stacks. Uh, one of my favorite features is this Highway Products headache rack, which just looks incredible. It's got tons of storage custom built fenders, extended the frame, added another axle, super single uh, wheels and tires all the way around. Brand new hitch assembly so we can pull bumper, pull trailers, panel hitches, we got air back there. Like, guys, the fit and finish on this thing is immaculate. My team absolutely killed it on this build. And in my opinion, it's one of the best looking semi trucks to ever uh, roll out of, well, any shop, especially ours. You just look at it. It doesn't get much better than that. It's not perfect yet, but man, 